Hi guys, welcome to another All Ball Special. Today I have a very special guest, one of our own, Wayne Vaz. Wayne, how's it going? Hi Rahul, I'm very well. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Wayne. Wayne, I ask you know all our guests. This has to be the first question. What was your first kick of the football, and what was the inspiration behind taking up football? Uh, well, uh, it, it all started for me back in second grade. Uh, I went to Don Bosco High School, Matunga, you know, which has one of the best uh, sports programs in the country, and uh, that is where I started playing football. So over the years, I represented my school at uh, at the under at the under eight, the under tens, the under twelves, and so on. So for me, uh, representing my school at these uh, tournaments organized by the Mumbai School Sports Association and other various local tournaments, uh, I, I, you know, I grew fond of playing football, uh, winning these tournaments, and the joy uh, with playing against uh, my rivals like Spanish Laws and uh, Saint Anne's and other various schools. So as the years went on and I grew older. Uh, I represented my school at the state and district levels. Uh, while I was in eight, eighth grade, I think back in 2008, uh, ESPN Star Sports uh, organized a tournament for for all the schools and the students in the under 16 age group. And uh, I I was playing a category higher than my than my usual age group. So that is where I won the player of the tournament. And you know, I got the opportunity to go to England to train and uh, watch a family game live. Well, uh, you know, watching my idols play live at the time: Steven Gerrard, uh, Javier Mascherano, uh, Fernando Torres, and Javier Alonso. You know, at that point, uh, it really opened my eyes and made me realize that uh, I wanted to become a professional footballer. Uh, you know, with the the atmosphere in London, and uh, I still remember it was they were playing Fulham at Craven Cottage, and uh, the fans and the exposure I had training, you know, it just uh, my love for the game just grew even more. I mean, that's amazing. Being a Steven Gerrard fan myself, and being a Man United fan, I know exactly what you mean. So then, Wayne, you took up, you know, playing professionally. You joined the I League with Chennai in the 2016-17 season. You know, before moving on to the ISL. So first, let's talk about your stint in the I League. How was that feeling of being drafted? You know, playing at the top level. Oh, well, for me, it was really difficult. Uh, you know, turning pro. Uh, like uh, while I was finishing. Uh, my studies and completing my graduation, I was playing for Air India for three seasons. And uh, after after I graduated, uh, I went on trials to Chennai City. This is this is back in 2016, and uh, you know I signed a one-year deal with them. And having having made my full debut uh, with Chennai City against Mohan Bagan, uh, was really uh, was really amazing, and I have some fond memories because I had a really good game. Uh, you know, having like having not not playing throughout the season and having uh, less game time uh, was really difficult because that is how you develop and mature as a player. But uh, I'm really grateful for the for the games I had and all the training sessions that that I learned, you know, day in day out. So so from there on. The next season, I got drafted with uh, FC Pune City in the ISL, and uh, obviously the level is much higher in the ISL as compared to the I League, where uh, the facilities are are more advanced. Uh, the technical side of the game and the physical side of the game is way higher than the I League. And uh, back then, my coach Ranko Popovic, uh, I was really aggressive and stern. So our training sessions uh, were really intense, and uh, you know the players couldn't afford uh, couldn't afford to lag behind. And I remember we had uh, Marcos Tebar, uh, who had played for Real Madrid, and uh, Luca, who was with AS Roma a couple of seasons before, and now Marcelino, who's with Odessa FC. 
so we had a really good squad and uh, we made it to the semi finals that season but uh, for me you know while i was in chennai city i played at center back and uh, in the isl uh, you always have two foreign center backs and the competition is a lot more so i had to shift to to playing to play at wing back and uh, and that is where i thought you know i need more game time and i need to mature and develop like a lot more to 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 cement my place in the first level so as the season as the season went by uh, i made the decision of of moving to the i league back to social brothers on loan and uh, i think like those that decision i made was it was really important for me to develop and having moving to social brothers i played a lot more games and uh, i think i think you know like it doesn't matter whether you know you play for a big team or no but you have to you have to make sure you play day in day out week like every week every game every week and that is where you mature as a player so at social brothers getting the game time the experience you know playing the whole season and um, yeah we had a good season that year and we came third so with that with the exposure and with the experience uh, you know isl clubs are always looking out to sign upcoming and young players and from there on uh, i signed the two year deal with uh, with northeast united fc who i'm currently with so last season around uh, i i had 11 appearances uh, but uh, you know we didn't have a really good season because uh, we had some major injuries mid season and foreigners had to leave but but overall i'm really uh, uh, like i'm really happy that uh, i got the game time and the experience but uh, the shift from the i league and then to the isl and then going back to the i league and now back in the isl has really helped me uh, develop and uh, uh, you know go out there and uh, show them my skills i mean that's that's amazing win win you're in a bubble right now you know like we've spoken about this to our friends to i've spoken about this to fellow players in the past that it's important to stay mentally strong and especially you you know being a center back i mean we've heard of you know center backs the strongest center backs having being the most mentally strong players in the team so how have you coped with this lockdown firstly and you know being in the bubble away from family for that long how are you coping with it now well to tell you the truth uh, at the beginning you know all of us were really happy that our season was going ahead you know in full swing but uh, as soon as all of us landed in goa and uh, you know with the current situation and all the rules and regulations in place we realized that you know we are in for a big uh, big long season uh you know it's like we can't complain because uh some countries are not even having their season season happening and we have our i league and isl uh, you know ready in, uh, and going on in full swing but uh, to stay mentally strong during this time is really really difficult you know the, the only thing we go out is to go train and go for our matches other than that we're not allowed to leave our uh, to leave our rooms except for our meals so but you know i try i try to keep myself focused although i haven't played yet this season because i just recovered from an injury and you know it's really difficult not to travel even to watch your team play because like the players like only the first 18 travel so earlier like even the players who were playing i would get the opportunity to go to the like to the to the ground and watch the team play but since the the pandemic you know no one else is allowed other than the first 18 so things like that you know i keep myself focused during training and try to go hard every training session and that is where you know i try to get out all my all my anxiety and my uh, like aggression that builds from staying like in the room 24/7 so how's how's the body coping now you know after the injury you train twice a day so i mean i hope the injury is coming along well yeah things are things are looking better you know but uh, i have to wait for my chance i can't be i can't be impatient about it you know because 
for these seven months, we never, uh, uh, you know, we we were indoors most of the time, and we couldn't use, uh, like we couldn't use facilities like the gym, or you know, we we didn't have a preseason that we would usually have these past couple of years. So you know, things things were really difficult in the beginning, but now, like with everything opening up and uh, and you know, uh, the game starting and uh, like players you know getting injured not because they aren't fit but because of the conditions that we were put through so things are looking pretty good out the way for my chance and hope for the best absolutely we hope you recover soon as well when i want to ask you you've played you know you've played from school level you've played you know you've played the mdfa you've come to the i league you've played the isl you've played football for a very long time so from someone who's been at the thick of things you know right at the root of everything i want to know from you what your opinion or what your comment is on the progression of indian football and infrastructure and facilities down the years with the tournaments coming up with getting foreign coaches etc well i think indian football has improved to a major major level in my time growing up like today the facilities we have in the isl is is as good as a team playing in europe or you know one of the top teams in asia but uh, to tell you the truth uh, growing up i wish i had you know better facilities at the grassroots level like for as like even like like even if i played in the first division or the second division uh, you know the quality of the ground uh, the quality of the referees you know stuff like that and it really mattered because the coaches that were coaching that were coaching us uh, were not a licensed coaches or or you know were not pro licensed although it's not mandatory for them to have that license at that level but uh, but growing up i think if we had better grounds and better competition uh, with the tournaments we played uh, you know i uh, would Uh, would help us uh, you know have that experience and develop much more faster like you see in today's day and age you see players uh, going pro at 18 and 19 and getting an opportunity to play in an isl team uh, whereas when i was younger at 18 and 19 i was still contemplating over whether to play football professionally you know because coming from mumbai you know how our parents like want us to to make it big you know <laughs> if i getting a degree or becoming an engineer or something like that but in today's day and age you can actually make a living playing football and uh, the isl coming to the picture has changed a lot of things for us like the foreign coaches coming in the foreign players especially last season uh, one of the best experiences was playing alongside asam ojan who i used to who i used to idolize when i was you know 8 and 9 and 10 watching the world cup back uh, back home in 2010 and uh, and i was in like in awe when you know he walked into the room because he has that charisma and that energy about him that you know top players usually uh, uh, uh usually possess about themselves and uh, that is where you learn when you have star players like them alongside you uh, like in your dressing room or on the training ground and uh, i think this exposure with top players coming in you know you get to learn from them like their lifestyle uh, you know their yeah, their habits the way they take care of themselves and i think today indian players like take a lot more care than they used to like watching these foreign players and uh, and yeah that is why indian football is on the rise and and the quality and the technicality has improved a lot more that's beautiful to hear when when one message you want to give out you know to your fans to all the football fans around the country about indian football about supporting the isl you know and just bringing alive indian football since we're on the up and you know we're only getting better well i think uh, i just want to say that you know football is all for the fans and the supporters i think without them we don't really enjoy ourselves playing playing on the pitch with like looking at empty stand but with the current situation we don't have any option and uh, i think isl is doing a good job with having the fan wall and uh, you know a lot more interactions with the fans uh, 
uh, uh, like having to, you know, to have uh, players going live and you know interacting with them with their with their questions and stuff. But uh, I think, you know, it's only because of you all we are here, and if you all keep supporting us, I think uh, in the future, I think you'll see us, you'll see India, Indian football at the World Cup. Absolutely, Wayne. That's the aim, and we look forward to that. Wayne, if you allow me, I'm going to present my screen and I have some images that I want you to take us through. So, Wayne, this is the first image. Take us through this one. Uh, so, this was back uh, last season against Jamshedpur. Uh, we were playing away. And uh, this is Sergio Castell. He's with the Atletico Madrid uh, B team. And he came on to loan to Jamshedpur. He, he, he's massive and he's strong. And it was really difficult to... Uh, to defend against him, you know, and he's really quick in the box with his uh, with his massive stature. So, so I think we came we came off yeah we came off with a draw. Uh, Asamoah Asamoah scoring in the 80, 88 minutes, I think, and, uh, and yeah, but it was a good experience playing against him. Uh, this is against Mumbai City. Uh, it was really emotional for me coming back, you know, where I grew up playing football and uh, having my parents and my family in the stand. Although we lost this game 1-0, but uh, we put on a really tough fight. And it was a good game. I wish to have many more games like this with fans and, you know, when you travel to different cities to play against to play against them. Absolutely. And we're in our last image. Uh, this was back in 2018. Uh, we, we played against Real Kashmir. And... Uh, yeah, what shocked me the most is, uh, you know, I had, I had a completely different uh, different outlook about Kashmir at the time, and uh, and uh, traveling there, you know, with all the uh, with all the news in the media about Kashmir being a bad place and all, which was which was not at all, uh, uh, you know, which was nothing compared to what you see on TV or in the newspapers, and uh, there were fans. You know, supporting the team like nothing else. I'm telling you, and like it scared us. Like you know, more than uh, like although we were the better team, it really put us in a place, and you know, we were really nervous before the start of the game. And yeah, it's just showing, it's just showing me how powerful I am over here, like holding back, <laughs> a, a holding back Bazu, who's really strong in midfield. Yeah, he looks pretty tough. <laughs> well. Thank you for that, Wayne. That was amazing. So, guys, that brings us to the end of our episode with Wayne. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments in the section below. Follow us on Instagram. Wayne, on behalf of the All Balls family, I want to thank you for joining us and sharing your experiences with us. We hope, you know, you recover. And yes, we hope your injury recovers soon and we see you on the field. I hope, you know, you have a great tournament and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Rahul. You too. Have a nice day.